Hi, I'm Candy, President of Affordable Bookkeeping and Payroll Services, and today I wanted to make a quick video on how to add or update any of your sales tax items. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is go down to the bottom here at item. Now I'm assuming you have your list open. If you're not sure how to get here, just go to the top to lists and item list and it will bring up this uh, listing for you. Uh, when you have it open, you're going to click item and new and this is going to be a sales tax item. In here, I'm going to enter in Los Angeles, 8.75%. Here again, I can say Los Angeles County. And here can be 8.75%. And the agency is the State Board of Equalization. I have now added the new rate and I can make the old one uh, inactive as soon as I don't use that one anymore. <clears throat> now, of course, this is in the desktop version. If you are using QuickBooks Online, it will look something like this. And again, I went to the sales tax center through on the left side where it says sales tax. And here you would hit your add and edit tax rates and agencies. And here right now you can see we have LA County 9%. I'm going to add a new one and put in here Los Angeles 8.75%. This will be the State Board of Equalization and 8.75%. Now the reason that I recommend that you have a new one is because when you are uh, changing any transaction that you've had in the past with an old rate, uh, if you go in and you use the newer rate, um, it will modify your invoice. So we don't want to have that where it's modified something. Um, so again, if we go back in here now, we'll see the old one and the new one. As soon as we have um, finished in the next few days this time period, we can actually make this one inactive. Um, but again, do not change the actual rate that you've had because if you go into an invoice, um, it will actually modify what that rate should have been and it will throw off your sales tax liability reports. If you have any questions, you can give us a call, 310-534-5577. Our website's www.abnp.com. Hope you have a great day and I hope you found this tip helpful. All right, bye-bye.